hello guys welcome to my youtube channel so today in this video uh, I'm going to show you the template hierarchies of uh, categories uh, meaning what page template uh, will be responsible for displaying the category page so uh, this is the back end of my local site and let's jump into the categories so I have created these two categories one is backend and another one is frontend and in each categories I have added three posts so currently I am going to show you the template hierarchy is for categories uh, and later on we will uh, check the template hierarchy is for custom taxonomies so let's go and visit the category page on the front end so this is the basic category page uh, on the front end and uh, let's check what template is responsible for this template for now so to do that uh, so this is my WordPress repo and to check what uh, template is uh, calling for this particular page uh, we will go to WP includes and in WP includes there is a file called template loader so I will open that file and go to the end of the file and here you will have this line upload filter template include so I'm going to echo this line so that we will know what file template is calling. Uh, there are few plugins as well to check what file template is calling, but uh, I am checking this way so that I don't need to add a new extra plugin. So now I am going to refresh this page and as you can see uh, it's it's calling this file themes 2020 index.php so let me show you what theme is activated here so we have this 2020 child theme activated but in this theme uh, we don't have index.php file so it is calling that um, index.php file from the parent parent theme so uh, currently it is calling the index.php now let's go here in the WP content theme and in 2020 child I am going to add a new file called category.php and in that category.php I am going to add code from the index.php of the parent theme so copy close and paste and save now we have added this file category.php into our child theme and now let's refresh this page so as you can see now it is calling this file 2020 child category.php so whenever it's whenever we have category.php in our current theme it will looking for this category.php file by default when we visit this category page now um, let's check the ID of the backend here so for this category we have ID 2 so here again in the 2020 child 
okay i'm not going to add a new file but rather than i'm going to rename this file and after rename for to rename this i will add hyphen 2 which is the category id and now let's check what file is calling for this backend and so as you can see it is calling specific category dash to dot php file because this category id is 2 now let's try to check uh, other category page and see what page template is calling for the other so as you can see for other category page it is again calling index.php so whenever you want to have a specific uh, category template then you will have that template by adding hyphen uh, category id dot php otherwise the default template will be loaded now again uh, let's check the slug of this page. we can use the slug as well for specific category page so uh, instead of this id again i'm going to rename this and i'm going to add the slug of this page so now the file name is category hyphen backend.php now again i'm going to refresh this page and as you can see here now it is calling category backend.php and for this it should remain the same file index.php now let's try to add category.php on our child theme and we will add the same code and we will refresh this front end category so as you can see now the category.php is calling for this front end and for the back end it should remain the category backend.php so this is how template here works so let me show you a diagram first so this is the diagram for template hierarchy and we have the archive page and so this is called archive page because we have a list of posts so on the archive page we have this category archive so what this page uh, look first on our current theme so first it will look in look for category hyphen category slug dot php if that file is found then it will call this page otherwise it's, it looks for category hyphen category id dot php if that is not found it will look for this category dot php and if that is not found then it will look for the archive dot php and even if archive.php is not found then finally it will look for this index.php so this is how a uh, template hierarchy works this is for category archive which is for this categories only for custom taxonomies similar but the file name will be different so for the custom taxonomy it will look for taxonomy hyphen taxonomy term dot php means uh, for example this is my custom taxonomy and i am going to add this taxonomy so taxonomy hyphen taxonomy term meaning this slug taxonomy hyphen love 
dash story dot php it will look for this then again the taxonomy hyphen taxonomy dot php meaning taxonomy hyphen this is the taxonomy book type dot php meaning it will call taxonomy hyphen book type dot php if that file is not found then it will only look for the taxonomy dot php and if that is not found again it will look for archive.php and finally it will look for the index.php so similarly for tag so file name will be tag hyphen slug.php tag hyphen tag id.php then tag.php and again archive.php and finally index.php so i will provide this link into the description section for this hierarchy and this is how the template hierarchy works uh, if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section and let me know if you have any doubt or question yeah this is the video guys thanks for watching